Hey, how are you doing? My name is Ines Alea and I'm a visual effects artist. In today's video, I want to talk about Autodesk Maya. Maya is an industry-leading 3D VFX tool that allows you to work in 3D on game development, on VFX, architectural visualizations, and much, much more. But in my opinion, it's most famous for its animation tools and all the options that you have in there to create efficient and professional looking animations within the software. Because Maya is being used in the professional industry for over 24 years and that's basically the biggest reason why it's an industry leading software. So every single studio that you will go at, you will always find someone using Maya in there and in most cases, most people will be using Maya. So if you end up learning Maya, you will have great odds to find a job or or find freelance work to collaborate with on other projects with other people. But now let's talk about what Autodesk Maya really is and what you can expect when you start learning it. I'm going to focus on visual effects because that's what this channel is about, but as I said, you can use it for game development, architectural visualizations, and much, much more. But in this video, I'm going to concentrate on the visual effects aspect. So Maya may be the most legendary 3D software out there at this moment. So that means it has a big audience and that also means that you can find a lot of education for it when you're trying to start. So that's also a great consideration to take when you want to learn a new software. Is there enough education for it? And also, is there enough education in a higher level? Because if you look at other software, you will also find great tutorials, but not by industry professionals. And as Maya has been used in the industry by Disney, Marvel and so many more, and because Maya has been used in the industry for feature film productions or game development from famous movies and famous games, you are going to find industry professionals teaching you the software. So now you are sure you're learning the right things and you will be able to find a job in this industry using this tool. And yeah, that's something that you definitely need to keep in mind. So what is a 3D software, what is Maya, and how do you get started? So let's say that we want to create an animation. That's one of the biggest strengths in Maya. But before we start on an animation, we need to have a model. We need to create something in order to animate it. And Maya is also one of the best modeling tools out there. So a lot of people use Maya to model extremely difficult models. Maya has a lot of workflows and ways to create really nice looking models, organic models. You have so many ways on creating your models and that allows you to be very creative and efficient. Maya is a really powerful modeling tool. That's why a lot of people choose this software to model their characters or buildings or structures all in Maya because it has so many tools to offer to create your objects. Once you have modeled your character, it's time to move into texturing and lighting your model or actually go into animation. But usually I start with the texturing and the look and feel so I know that my model is a final look. And then you also have the second most important thing in Maya and that's its animation strength. It has so many options for animation that it's currently the industry leading tool for animation movies. So whether you want to create realistic looking visual effects or you want to have cartoon animation movies movies, which Maya has been used for a ton of times, you will find that Maya is great for animation and it just works so efficiently when you're trying to animate something. I found that it's really intuitive and I can just quickly change everything on my model. For example, I tried to have this dinosaur animated. I actually imported this dinosaur 3D model together with a rig that is already optimized for Maya and this allows me to animate this dinosaur in no time. You won't be able to open up this rig in any other software. So that's why I really enjoy Maya because it has so many models rigs and education out there that are optimized for this software. So that's already a great way not to lose precious time. For visual effects, Maya is also a great choice because it also comes with its own simulation software in there. So if you want to create realistic smoke, fire or liquid effects, you can use Bifrost which is in Maya and allows you to do this without any additional plugins. You can also create realistic looking renders, which is also a really important part if you want to integrate your 3D VFX in your live action footage. You will need a render engine that is physically accurate and allows you to recreate the realistic world as is and gives you as much options to modify it exactly how you want. And Maya comes with the Arnold render engine. 
the Arnold Render Engine is currently the most industry standard render engine in the movie industry. This is because it gets you really accurate and realistic looking results and it also allows you to modify a ton of other things. It also allows you to export every single layer differently. For example, you can export your core of your object, your reflection, your refraction, your shadows and a bunch of other stuff that you can all export separately and then you can combine all these different elements to make up your model in the compositing software of choice. The reason why people end up doing this is to modify their renders after they have already exported their entire scene. Sometimes you made a mistake or sometimes you want to change a color or sometimes a reflection is a little bit too intense and you want to lower that but you don't want to re-render your entire scene again. So then you can use these multi-passes from the Arnold render engine to really dial every single thing separately down. For example, if you want a red car to become a yellow car, you can do so without affecting all the rest and just with a click of a button after you've already rendered everything out. Another great benefit that I found in Maya is that it's really sturdy and it has been around for 24 years. So that's a proof that it's a sturdy and great software to choose from and especially because it's been used in the industry for so long. A lot of people have become used to this software, so why wouldn't you join them? I found that if I import scenes with large polygon counts, that means a very dense object, I didn't get as much jitter and lag. It's really efficient and really works well with high density polygon models. So this is great for the visual effects industry because we often want high detailed models for our close-ups and these usually make your scene much more complicated and therefore slower. And because it's such a known software, it also has so many plugins that work with it. So it allows you to create literally anything when it comes to VFX. For example, everyone can model, everyone can texture and light and render out their scene, but not everyone can create extremely unique and yeah, destructive effects that yeah, make up a really complex shot and just wows the audience. And that's what amazes me. All the particle stuff, all the simulation stuff, destruction stuff, these things are usually a lot harder than just modeling and making up your scene. And that's something that Maya is also very known for. If you are thinking about learning a 3D software, it's up to you to know what you want exactly, because it really depends on what you want to use this software for. So think for yourself, do you want to become a VFX artist or do you just want to become a solid animator and be specialized in just that one point or you just want to be a specialist in rendering? Uh, this is all possible. For me, I'm a generalist, I know a little bit of everything and I can come up with a really cool result from A to Z. So from filming something to the final result with visual effects, but this doesn't allow me to do stuff in a short amount of time. So maybe you want to join a team where you are specialized in the animation process, you get the model and you get started on the animation. Maybe that's something for you. Maybe you want to create architectural visualizations and you don't want to end up in visual effects. Maybe game development is really something for you. And if these things are all something for you, Maya is a great choice because, because for VFX in the film industry, it's been the number one leading software for over a decade. And also for game development, it's being used a ton of times right now. Um, but that is a little bit more complex. I don't have experience for the game development. I hear it's a lot of coding and a lot of scripting. So it's a little bit more complicated. I'm a fan of visual effects and the creative aspect. So yeah, I'm definitely planning on learning Maya a little bit more. I have been been using it way way in the past I forgot most of it but I always remember that this is a tool that I should learn so if you want to learn this as well definitely go and check out the link in the description below where you can download Maya's free trial for 30 days go and play around with it I definitely encourage you to do so because this is currently a very famous 3d software choice to be able to join in any VFX or CG team so if you want to get a chance to join a professional team, definitely take your chance at this free trial with the link in the description and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, I'm going to leave you with another video of mine right here so you can continue your visual effects journey. Until next time, create epic videos.